What's up, guys? Long time no see. Gonna go into this kind of assuming you know a little bit about the kind of entire Parsec cloud gaming thing, right? You need a little bit of a intro. There are a couple other videos that I'll link for you know a kind of rundown on that. But for the most part, I assume you know what you're getting into. For the uninitiated, it's pretty much net play with a middleman server that you set up yourself, you run the game from yourself, and both players will connect to your parsec. So what I would like to focus on in this video is actually streamlining that process and making it as efficient as possible so that we can actually kind of have the same experience that we would on normal net player, right? What's this new thing you guys are talking about? This parsec blaze blue cloud? Bezos? Yeah. Bezos is going to be a kind of like rundown on optimizing the cloud PC setup for fighting games and stuff. You know, it doesn't have to be BBCF, but I'm going to be using BBCF as the example piece because um, that's the only game I like. You know, as you can see, this is my Parsec window. It's connected to a cloud PC that I have all the games installed on through Steam. So one thing that makes this really quick and streamlined is you want the cloud PC to be able to boot right into Parsec when it starts up so that you can just connect automatically through Parsec on your computer and then handle everything through your Parsec window. Because a lot of the like cloud PC apps and browser clients are kind of not really buggy, but like not super responsive or great. So handling it through Parsec just makes it a lot easier. So you could do that through Parsec settings itself. Um, we could check all of my great friends. And here's me, I'm one of my own friends. And you can see I give myself full control over the computer so that when I boot up, I'm able to actually manage it properly remotely. So that being said, okay, so I got my boys on deck. Um, Brandon, Super Science, and Don, what is his name now? Still Dr. NK. So they've got auto connect permission, so they're about to just hop on in. So we've got Super Science connecting from California with a four frame delay. The delay is going to be based on how far you are from the server and not how far you are from each other. So because he's cross country, right, he feels four frame delay. But for me, it's a lot less since I'm a lot closer to the server. He's in too. Cool. So they have gamepad and whatever permissions. You can give them any permissions you want. Uh, here, I'm going to take away their keyboard and mouse because they don't need it. Damn. So, okay, we're all connected. You know, we're all having a good time. Um, whatever, right? If we press buttons on our controllers after we're connected to Parsec, it'll actually sync up to the computer. So let's just look at how things are right here. You can go into the system tray and hit this, the devices and printers, and there's three controllers, right? But Blaze Blue Central Fiction is a two player fighting game. Hmm. This is just a kind of tip to avoid, I don't know, this huge disaster that we just encountered that we had to retake this for yeah <laughs> so i already have the games installed and stuff just for the uh, sake of streamlining this video i don't need to show you how to install the game and log in your steam account or whatever you want to make sure that you start up the game with only two controllers connected right and p1 and p2 slots so a good way to do this is hit the system tray again right click parsec and hit reset game pads right and you'll see they all vanish boom Oof. So the first two people to press their buttons will be the players who get synced up, right? So I guess you guys could do it, right? Sure. sure. Boom, boom. So there's two, right? Two appeared instead of three. Because I haven't hit anything on my stick, as you can see. You can see the controllers, game controller settings, just to check who's who. You don't really have to do this, but just for the sake of it. So that's done. Cool. And then this one should be that is me. Brandon Super Science. Cool. That looks all fine at the end. We've got two players connected, which is pretty important. And we boot up the game. So the game takes this instance of two players connected. So any other controllers that get connected afterwards won't really screw with the game or anything. All right. You know, they're gonna skip this intro. 
Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's so, present buds? So that's me. I went to versus mode, and it's me and Brain. Yeah, so they have control. So too. you guys go to like character select, right? And you know this is all fine and dandy. They can they can play game whatever. So let's imagine that uh, Don just got command thrown by Brandon cross country like a bajillion times, and yeah. I'm tired of watching Don get command thrown. By Brandon. Uh, yeah, I have one frame delay and he has four. Yeah, he, and he has four frame delay and he's still coming through him so many times that he died, right? And I'm tired of it and I say, I want to hit Brandon with overheads, right? So I want to get in. So if you have a bunch of friends connected to the server and you actually want to set up a rotation, that's why you only have two controllers connected. So there's another tip. You can't alt tab through Parsec for the remote computer, right? If, you, if I do this, you see I... Oh no! I have to censor that! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna censor it in the final video. Okay. It's gonna be censored. They're gonna... They're... <laughs> Alright. 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 No, no. Someone's, someone posted something on Discord, okay? You get it, wow. right? You get it. That's yeah, that's I how it me. goes. <laughs> I, do. I wanna get in. I'm, I'm tight. I'm tight. So if you want to minimize the blaze blue window that's full screen on the remote computer, you can actually just hit the Windows key, right? It'll work on your computer, but it'll also pass it to the remote computer. So look, now my controller is connected, but I can't do anything. I can't control the game, blah, 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 right? So what you're gonna have to do is talk to your friends and come to a mutual agreement about who gets to hit brand with overheads, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna reset the game pads again. While the game's still open, While reset still game open. pads. Right. So I'm just tight. So Brandon, hit your buttons because I'm so sick of you, right? And then I'm gonna press the button. So just for the sake of checking, right? This one, second one should be me. And is that you, Brandon? Okay, that's you. Uh, is this one? Yeah, that's me. Cool. And I haven't hit any buttons. He so hasn't um, hit any buttons. He could hit, hit buttons, buttons if he down. wants, right? So Don just press buttons. At point, so at this point, I can hit buttons. Right. So that's that's him. And can you just press a bunch of buttons? Me? Yeah, yeah. I'm hitting buttons. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening, right? We can actually go back out to the versus menu and check how many controllers are connected. It's still only two, right? So the first two people who connected, so it's me and that is... Brandon, me, yes, are able to actually control it since we were the first two to press our buttons post reset. So this way you can actually facilitate a kind of rotation. Right? So uh, Brandon landed enough command throws to win three games and I'm like, all right, I'm in, right? I'm next. So I could just tag in, you know, press the buttons. Why oh, you pick this color? I don't know. The buns might not be set properly for obvious reasons. Yeah, that's fine. But yeah, it works. Um, you you know you can switch over controls at any point, really. And of course, since it's offline, technically you can you pause. Know. You can hit sound settings, right? His he said his buttons were messed up. Oh, really? Online? That'd be too bad, right? But here, you can do this nice thing. So he's gonna do TK command throw right now. Right, and I just I'm I'm so mad. I, I'm just like I'm just, I'm done playing Brandon. Right, I'm done. Yeah, I hate this shit. I hate Blaze Blue. Right, so we obviously we don't need this window open. We could just do this real quick, just to give you an example. All right, so um, let's let's redo it. Let's do it live. I'm just gonna we're gonna go through the process real quick. I'm just gonna open Blaze Blue. Okay, I've just paused the game. Brandon, what the fuck? Why do you keep fucking command throwing? All right, I hit the I Windows key. I hit the Windows key. All right, I'm done. Don, go. Hit him with Gauntlet Hades. So I'll hit button. And then I'll hit button. Ugh. I'm gonna reopen the game. All right, here's a funny story. I'm player one. <laughs> <laughs> and then they've switched players, so he can't actually do Gauntlet Hades. But it's because of the order that they connected, but if that was anticlimactic for you, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, there, go. let's go. Oh, All right. There it is. 
All right, hopefully that's a, uh, you know, give you a good idea of actually navigating this kind of thing and making it into a kind of functional setup that you can actually play with your friends. Holy, uh, they told me to stop cursing. They told me to stop cursing. It's been too long. I've been quarantined too long for this, but yeah, yeah, it's functional. You know, there you go. Get into the game, play with your friends. Don't command throw that many times, and you won't have any problems. You know, perfect, <laughs> fantastic, good old time for everybody. But yeah, um, as we said earlier, the delay is by player. Can you guys pause the game because they keep talking? I can. <laughs> but the net play is going to be a lot better in general, right? You're not going to have any stuttering, and if you're okay with there being variable delay by player, then it's totally fine, right? For example, if I was playing Dawn on this, we'd both have very similar delay to the server, and it would just be a straight improvement to us playing normally through the normal client. There's no stuttering because of whatever. As uh, long as your internet connection is good enough to download yeah. the video effectively. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the other things that you may want to do to make sure that everything's peachy keen is you can hit Control Shift M in Parsec to actually pull up this window that shows your encode and decode, and you can kind of fiddle with the settings, right? If you can't see your mouse on this, you just hit Alt Tab. It'll move you out of the full screen window and it'll display your mouse. So you can check your codec and you can check your decoder, right? So I did that and my decode went up a lot, right? So really that's not fantastic. I'm not happy with that because that adds to my overall delay. So I'm gonna hit decoder, switch it to my graphics card, and suddenly this drops down a lot more. So I'm pretty content with that. Just, you know, more settings to fill around with. But yeah, um, you'll be able to just give yourself and your friends a much better netplay experience where you can pause after getting command thrown for the building time. Thanks, hmm. Brandon. Thanks, Brandon. Always here to help. Yeah. Anyway, I hope that gives a pretty encompassing idea on this. I don't know. I really, you I know, can't believe I have to censor that. These things happen. These things happen? How it is. Oh my god. I mean, to some people. You know, sometimes that's just how it be. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but yeah, if uh, you know this sounds like your jam, if you really want better net play, and you don't mind paying for it, you do have to pay for access to the server, right? You're paying either an hourly rate or you're paying for storage or something like that. So that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, there are a couple different pricing models out there. The one I use is called Paperspace. It's seven dollars a month for storage, and the access fee is fifty cents an hour, which actually turns out to be pretty cheap, especially since you know there's so many people playing together, and we can kind of just split it. And you know, I don't really mind covering for my friends on that kind of thing. But you know, it's really worth it for me. I think in terms of being able to practice and a better net play. So um, you know, you only pay while you're actually using it. So it's totally fine in that regard. Anyway. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, sticking with me all this time. Hope you learned a thing or two. Hope to see you on Parsec Netplay, or you know, you can just hop on my server and got body. I'm just kidding. So you've had enough of a Parsec on your computer, and you want to go to the bar and show some honeys or combos, right? So you can actually just load up Parsec on your phone. If you really need a keyboard, you can actually just uh, click here too and open the on-screen keyboard. But, huh, how am I supposed to play Blizzle on my phone? Well, if you are a TLC pad player, you can just sync up your pad through Bluetooth. Wow. I'm sorry, I just hit the, hit the mic out of my raw excitement. Yeah, I got too excited, dude. Do you guys hear that amount of delay? Don't you think that's kind of interesting? Let me uh, move this back so you get a little more perspective because this is a little crazy. All right, so we're big Blazewoo fans, right? And um, the most iconic thing I've ever seen in Blazewoo is, what is it? 
DC Hell's Fang. DC Hell's Fang? What are, are you sure? Or is it IDDP? I'm a big Blaze Blue fan. Dawn is too, right? And um, sure. we go somewhere and we're trying to show people some hot stuff, right? So what do we do? All right. All right. Don't do that, please. Let's not <laughs> let's not ever do this ever again. Watch this. Here you go. Disconnect. 